how forests facilitate the water cycle. Did you know? Your planet is 70% water, yet there is a desperate need for conserving water to maintain the water cycle for the ecosystem. Now, who is playing a vital role in marinating the water cycle? Can you guess? Forests, of course. This is Earthy Perks, with a new episode to reveal the importance of forests and their role how they conserve the water cycle to support the biome. In addition to their roles as carbon sinks, forests are a decisive element for climate regulation and the maintenance of the water cycle. They are the main obstacle to desertification. Forests are a critical cog in the global water cycle. Trees pull water from the ground and release it into the atmosphere as vapor through pores in their leaves in a process called transpiration. It can drive temperatures and rainfall across the globe. Forests are also dynamic ecosystems with both natural events such as pest infestations and droughts and anthropogenic activities like logging potentially causing dramatic changes in forest structure. The arrangement of trees within a forest influences the amount of light and heat that reaches the ground affecting not just transpiration, but also other processes, like evaporation and entrainment. That is the process by which air above the canopy is mixed into the canopy. The forest canopy can regulate the rate at which moisture and energy are returned to the atmosphere at a local scale. It can, in turn, influence water retention in the makeup of forest ecosystems. There are two types of evaporation. Transpiration is the evaporation flux from within plants. Plants determine this flow by controlling their stomata, pores on leaves, and other surfaces. Evaporation from wet surfaces, soils, and open water is also essential. Which pathway contributes most to overall evaporation depends on conditions. Forests evaporate more moisture than other vegetation, typically exceeding flux from herbaceous cover by a factor of 10. Forest evaporation benefits from canopy height and roughness, which leads to turbulent air flows. This has been termed the closed line effect, as it is the same reason laundry dries more quickly on a line than when it is laid flat on the ground. Large tropical trees can transpire several hundred liters of water each day. Plants with high stem volumes allow transpiration to outstrip root uptake as stem water reserves are depleted by day and replenished at night. Trees and forest lianas typically have deeper roots than other vegetation and can thus access subterranean moisture during droughts. Many forest soils possess good water infiltration and storage properties often lost with deforestation. The best known function of forests is the absorption of the atmospheric CO2. The photosynthesis carried out by large masses of vegetation, especially those which are biologically young, is an important element in the absorption of CO2. It is the most critical gas that causes the global warming of the atmosphere. Forests filter and clean water dampen the water runoff caused by heavy rainfall, which would otherwise erode the soil. Forest soil absorbs four times more rainwater than soil covered by pasture, and 18 times more than soil with no vegetation. Forest soil, therefore, contributes to the reduction of the risk of water-related disasters, such as earth slides and flooding. The role of rainforests in the water cycle is to add water to the atmosphere through the process of transpiration. In the Amazon, 50 to 80 percent of moisture remains in the ecosystem's water cycle. Hence, the word critical is well defining the role of forests in maintaining the water cycle. Without them, you are going to lose that part of transpiration. This is Earthy Perks, signing off with a public service message to plant trees. As much as you can, plant them today and secure a healthy environment for the next generations to breathe in fresh air. Till next episode, stay tuned and keep watching Earthy Perks.